people anxiously Not once did speak to me When tides came did not flee Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I am here in Union Station and I am taking the train for 44 hours from Chicago, Illinois to Reno, Nevada. We leave Sunday at 2 p.m. and I'm arriving on Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. and I'm in a coach seat so I'm going to show you what the experience is like. I have checked one bag and I have a bag of food, which I did an entire video on the train snacks. It's either gonna be out before or after this. So feel free to watch that if you're interested. I'm not planning on buying any food on the train except coffee and probably water. And then I have this bag with me. And then I checked a suitcase because I'm going to a seasonal position. And usually when I travel, I just travel with my backpack and a smaller backpack, but I have to be around people and I might need to wear more than one item of clothing <laughs> the whole time. So I will be, I did bring a lot of different clothes just so I didn't look like a bum while I was there. So let's get into the train journey. Hey guys, we're still in Chicago. It's our train is changing tracks or something, so we're not leaving on time. So already starting off late. I've been standing up instead of sitting in seats because I know I'm gonna be sitting down for two days. Um, already feeling a little anxious and irritated though, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> but I think that's because I'm hungry. I was gonna like wait till I got on the train to eat. But I probably should have just ate. So now I did I did know that the California Zephyr which I'm on is known for running late. Very late in some cases. So we shall see how that goes. Already starting off not the greatest. But obviously it's just a small hiccup. It's really, really loud, but we are in Denver, so I think we have like around 24 hours left. Last night was not super pleasant, but I did get um, a good amount of sleep, and I went and got a coffee this morning, and now I'm going to go to the observation car for the day, or for a couple of hours. So, that's the plan. Um, I just ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's really hard to video. The train is completely full. So, 
close. <laughs> and I only had one, one time where I got out of the train, which was in Galesburg, which is my college town. So that was kind of fun to be there for two seconds. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what's happening. Uh, so far, it's not really very pretty, but I think it's supposed to get pretty right now. I did see the mountains as we were coming into Denver, so I think we're about to hit the pretty part right now, which is why I'm heading to the observation car. And I need to kill the day somehow. We shall see, because I feel like I've already run out of movies to watch that I downloaded. So. We'll see what I get up to. A steamboat sailed ashore. It was calling me a boat. And as I climbed inside, I saw you sitting there. Daydream, you were lost, but you saw me through the fall. You tried to hide behind your paper and your pen, but you laughed instead.
everybody. We made it to Reno. So I'm just gonna do a bit of a recap of the trip. I'm not gonna lie, guys. We get real on this channel if you're new here. The first night, after we had like the delay in Chicago that just started me off on the wrong mental note, there was a screaming woman with a screaming child who was just like, I'm talking screaming at her kid and her kid was screaming like growling like a demon like it was honestly truly terrifying and unfortunately she was sitting a couple rows behind me however i did have bose noise canceling headphones and they worked like a charm i did not hear the woman she was far enough away there was also some coffers on the train and you guys know me and like my covid paranoia so i was a little bit freaked out about that <laughs> but um, it was a nice ride. Uh, oh, what I was saying was that, <laughs> not gonna lie, when I first got on the train because of those things that was hap were happening, I was like, oh my god, I have to sit in this spot for the next um, 44 hours. Like, what am I gonna do? I was regretting my decision instantly. <laughs> After I got a good night's sleep, or, well, I wouldn't say a good night's sleep, but I slept pretty decently on and off. So anyways, I was kind of regretting my decision, but by the time I woke up in the morning, I, you know, got some sleep, I drank my coffee, I set myself up in the observation car, because I knew that day two of the train is when it gets pretty, and it's basically from Denver through most of Colorado is where it's really really beautiful so pretty much the whole second day it's incredibly beautiful I mean, I now in the, the sightseeing car they were really strict about things so I thought like oh I'll be smart I'll set up and stay in there however I don't know if this is just the conductor that or like the attendant that we we had or what but he would he was like okay you guys this is two hour shifts the first shift is mountains, the second shift is rivers and canyons, the third shift is this, and I, I can't remember exactly what the shifts were, but they were two hour shifts. So he's like, if you want to be in a different shift, vacate the premises, you aren't allowed to have your bags there. So I did have my bag with me because my bag did have my laptop in it. You know, I had a fanny pack with my valuables in it, but I did, um, want to have my laptop with me as well but i wasn't allowed to so i had to leave that at the seat but it, it was fine um so it was like really strict <laughs> in the sightseeing car and i did sit in there for the first shift and i talked with a man named spencer who i told about my channel because he saw me <laughs> filming so i told him about my channel and he checked out a video so spencer if you're watching hello thank you for subscribing and watching this video and um it was very nice meeting you <laughs> shout out to spencer and hopefully i'm remembering the correct name because i am really bad with memory which is why i wanted to film this right now before i forget everything that happened on the train so the views from the rockies were so incredibly beautiful that it really made the trip worth it and so that day pretty much you're just listening to music audiobooks or talking with people that you meet and looking out the window because it's too beautiful to be sitting on your book or sitting on your phone we also didn't have service a lot of the second day but we, it was on and off so we did have service quite a bit i would say but it would go out and back on and out and back on like <laughs> all the time so, um, I, it was kind of cool that we had a lot of service. I did use about three gigs of um, memory on my phone. Um, I brought a extension cord with me, which I highly, highly recommend doing because I was able to plug that in and put it in between me and my seatmate because I was sitting in the window and then my seatmate could use it, and that way we didn't have to 
interact in regards to the outlets because I know that could be kind of annoying and I really didn't want to have to deal with that so doing that was really great and I highly highly recommend doing that. In terms of my train snacks, <laughs> um, I brought enough food for sure. I did spend about uh, $20 still on the train because I bought um, one Diet Coke, one water, two coffees, and I ended up getting a, actually three coffees, and I ended up buying a breakfast sandwich as well, because this morning I was just like, you know what, I'm really, really hungry for some substance. And the breakfast sandwich was $5, it was a Jimmy Deans thing, which I actually showed you in the video, or I'm going to show you. I don't know how I'm organizing this yet. I'm probably having the talking clips at the end, because it's the more boring part probably. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what else you guys want to hear about the train, but I definitely would say there will be moments, <laughs> if you're about to go on the train, there will be moments where you are going to be regretting your decision to go on the train because people are being annoying around you perhaps or something along those lines or you're just bored out of your mind. But it will be worth it going through the Rocky Mountains. Once you pass Denver, absolutely incredible views. Some of the most beautiful views I've ever seen in my life. So I would say I do recommend doing the train. Will I take the train back after my seasonal job is over? Probably not. I think I would prefer to fly. This is just so much faster, <laughs> but we will see. Maybe I'll be over that, you know, by the time it comes, maybe I'll be doing it. I don't really know. But yeah, if you guys have any, any questions about the Zephyr, feel free to leave them down below and I will answer them if I can. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are going on the train, I hope you have a great time. Stick through those moments <laughs> where you don't think, where you're regretting your decision because the Rocky Mountains will make it worth it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. In hour, two hour, three hour chunks, so that was pretty solid. What on earth is that sound? earthquake? I think there's an earthquake happening right now. Unless it's just like the fridge or something. <laughs> Maybe it's just the fan. <laughs> I swear to you. I think it's just this thing. <laughs> you know, it's always um always fun on here. <laughs> on this channel. Um, okay. Anyways. I don't think there's an earthquake. I think it's just that. Um, the the cooler. The AC. The AC. Okay. So, where, where was I? She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa.